Hi, Peggy. Good evening. Good morning to all your the Diamond Talk followers. Hi, everybody. Hi, Peggy. Well, it's my privilege to have Peggy, who's Senior Vice President at Asile INC, as my guest for the second time. And in a previous conversation, Peggy had spoken about Asile Pearl, shown us exclusive Asile Pearls jewelry. But well, today we are in for some coral talk. And Peggy will talk to us about the importance and what are coral and also show us exclusive Asile coral jewels. So Peggy, thank you for giving us your time and we welcome you and we're looking forward to hearing all your valuable expertise and insight about precious coral. Thank you. Um, first of all, I should say, um, before I joined Asael, even though I have X decades in the business, um, I, I didn't, I knew I loved the look of coral, but I, I understood what was happening to the coral reefs and um, I was concerned and Christina Asael and I, with our partner Enzo Liverino, talked and I want to share what I learned with you. Precious coral is actually more verifiably sustainable than most gems. It just so happens that pearls and precious coral, not right. reef coral, but precious coral, an entirely different thing, are more verifiably sustainable. Why? Um, the coral reefs are endangered, and that coral is brittle, and you really can't use it in fine jewelry. It's totally illegal and um, for good reason. Precious coral, however, grows apart from reef coral. Mm -hmm. Deeper and more solitary, reef coral harbors ocean life. So, you know, the oceans and marine life really start out with coral reefs. That's why they're so important. It's like the beginning of the food chain for the ocean, for the oceans of the world. Mm -hmm. But reef, but precious coral grows almost solitary, very deep, um, no matter what kind of coral it is. And it is so highly regulated, so strictly monitored by the countries off whose shores it grows. For example, in Japan, everything that gets fished is recorded by what area, I think it's a, a number letter system, um, it comes from. If you don't register it with the government, you'll never be able to sell it. So the government keeps track of what types of corals come from what parts of its oceans. And it can know and make sure that it's actually not only not being lessened, but flourishing. So precious coral is not endangered. It's not even a step away from being endangered. It's flourishing. And I don't know how many gems you can follow and track like this when, for example, angel skin coral is, is harvested and shipped around the world. It has to have a CITES certificate okay. into and out of each country showing its origin and that all the wildlife and fisheries departments in each country have passed it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's the first thing about coral. Let's get to the fun part. It's exciting. It's, it's a material, you know, as a designer, it's a material that um, kind of like pearls, you put it with other things. And it's amazing what happens with contrasts. Pearls have luster, but porcelain, when polished, has a, has a sheen. And it's, it's, it's very wonderful. Let me, let me, let's start with an example. Yes. This is Sardinian coral. Okay. This is a particularly large strand. This strand is reaching 16 and a half millimeters. You can see 
from the coral that I have on, how yes. much larger this is. And this oh, is to show you, this is reaching nine millimeters. Wow. And I'm wearing something in between. So there are si different sizes for different people and styles. Um, sometimes a customer may want to wear a single strand or just a couple casually, as I am. But sometimes, for example, this is one necklace. Beautifully. It's one necklace with an adjustable clasp. Right. And, you know, I have to say, as much coral as is here, it's still a casual look because it's just, la you know, it's layered coral as layered pearls would be. If we, if we want to talk about formal looks in coral, yes, there are formal necklaces, but this but is angel skin. And these are beautiful, quite large. Yes. Sardinian coral, as one would imagine, comes from the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. And it is a type of coral, um, Corallium rubrum, red. Okay. And it is, it is, it is plentiful. But still, the Italian government gives a license for only a few coral. I would say families. They're businesses, but they're multi generational families, as our partner Liverino is, um, and they, they are watched. You know, the Italian Coast Guard keeps a watch. The government does. Again, it has to be looked at when it leaves the country and looked at when it arrives. Mm -hmm. um, Corallium rubrum does not need this CITE certificate mm -hmm. because it's plentiful. And it has, again, nothing to do mm -hmm. with, with reef coral. Mm -hmm. And it it's... You know, we're particularly proud of the sizes that we have because you need, you, the thickness of the coral branch determines the size of the bead. Actually, there's usually something white going through the center of the branch. So it's half of the branch or slightly less than half of the branch that mm -hmm. determines the size of the bead or the carving. We have examples of carved coral here um, well, we, we're going to talk about Sardinian coral, the various colors of angel skin coral, and then we're going to get to the rarest, most collectible, precious coral. But let me save that for a moment. So there's just so much to say in a short period of time. One of the types of Sardinian or Mediterranean coral is something called shaka, S-C-I-A-C-C-A, -C -C -A, pronounced shaka. And this is very interesting and a, a wonderful, it's not a story, it's a, a thing that happened. About a hundred years ago, in a channel between the island of shaka and another island, there's a drop off in the channel as is not uncommon in the ocean floor, but there were Italian fishermen or fishermen from the island of Shaka fishing there, and they discovered a deposit in this drop-off that was hundreds or perhaps thousands of years of little pieces of coral that naturally come off of the forms that they grow in, you know, dead, um, of course, and they, they just, the oceans, the current carries them, and this drop-off catches them. So there was a huge deposit of what they called shaka coral, which doesn't come very large. Mm -hmm. And Li Liverino, our partner, acquired quite a bit of it. Mm -hmm. And so we then in turn decided to acquire um, a lot of theirs. And shaka coral yes. is a lighter color. 
than very fine Sardinian coral. You can see this orange mm -hmm. color. And you see the beads are much smaller. For example, in this necklace, you can wear it as such. You can twist it. Right. And do that, that look. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And this is, you know, affordable. Um, and talk about ethical and sustainable. Yes, it doesn't, please. you know, and we have earrings. Very nice. All very easy to wear and a bracelet. Oh, the whole and set. You, oh, yes. You can put the bracelet and necklace together mm. and make something longer. Oh, wow. And um, we're just going to move up here. And then we get to moving out of Shaka, but more easy to find Sardinian coral would be this medium orange red color in small beads. Smaller beads are much less rare, obviously. This is called Bayadera, okay. which is Italian for knitted or crocheted, I forget. But this is a very special stringing technique. The silk mm -hmm. causes this, Wonderful. you know, them, it's a, it's, a, it's a talent, it's a tedious talent. And for this, you can definitely join Interesting. The, the bracelet and the necklace. Very you can decide to wear the gold mm -hmm. just um, here, or you can reverse it and have the necklace in the back with, I mean, the bracelet in the back with the gold pieces here or asymmetrically. But this is, this is to me fun and fashionable. Uh, absolutely, baby. And then we move on to the more serious, precious Sardinian coral. This is gorgeous. This is the biggest size here that I have out. We have larger. It's in a different vault than I rated this morning for us, but Wonderful. it's pretty special. And uh, we do, you know, we do all kinds of, of things. You can see that I'm wearing just some yellow gold earrings with Sardinian drops. Yes. And then we do Beautiful. a bit dressier with diamonds. Yes. Question, how easy it is for you to source identical pair drops? Say, for example, in this particular necklace, how challenging or, or how easy it is to get identical pair drop for the earrings and even for the beads of necklace that you've shown us, you know, how difficult or easy it is to source this, you know, more or less of the same size beads. So you're a smart woman and you've been, you've been talking to gem dealers clearly for a long time. It's a good question that I should have brought up. It is not easy. Um, this basically had to come from the same material to really match. Right. And drops of this length yes. are not easy. Absolutely, yes. And then, of course, the beads have to match the color of the drops. And then to have them be so uniform in color without white spots or veining, very similar to gems, yes. uh, similar to pearls, size, consistency of color, the color to begin with, and then the consistency of color, all, all the same as with gems. So yes, this is difficult to achieve. Wow. And that necklace that I just showed you is difficult to achieve. I think one would have a hard time finding another necklace that went to, what is this? 16 and a half millimeters. 16 and a half, each one of them. 
Well, no, it's slightly graduated. It goes from 12.2 to 16.5. But the graduation, because it's a long necklace, you barely, it's very, very the graduation is gradual. What can I tell you? You barely it's, notice. Absolutely. My necklaces are slightly graduated too, but they don't appear right. to be, you know, graduated. Um, just, but as pearls are usually slightly graduated, if not more graduated. And um, yeah, it's some other examples of Sardinian coral. These are older pieces, vintage pieces. And they're in a vintage carving. But I will be doing something very cool with them. Let me show you. I will... I will keep the carvings as they are and make something fun and fashionable. This is a portrait of a lady. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. This is traditional old Torre del Greco near Naples, where the coral companies are carving. And uh, it's it's like um, cameos, you know. Absolutely. You see them in in jewelry of different ages, but then you can see a contemporary piece using a vintage cameo. Mm -hmm. So we we have yet to do that, but we are we are shortly going to do it. An, um, another amazing thing is, look at the size of this renew. Wow, you can see. Yes, fantastic. Four matching ones. Four matching ones. It will be a cuff. It will be a, a very large cuff. Yes, yes indeed, a very large cuff. Yes, and so maybe on a future, a future live, I'll be able to show you the finished cuff. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Um, I, I have plenty of Sardinian things to show you, but we have limited time. So I'm going to move on to some, this is Sardinian. One. This is particularly deep and red. This is the finest color of Sardinian. Got it. For sure. Mm -hmm. I hope you can see the color yes. difference. You can see the color and the luster and the shine from the coral. And One. they're fat and the color is totally even yes they are front, front to back They're, you know it's this is really very precious and um now we're going to move on to angel skin okay so it's a different species and this is more the situation i told you about where i used japan as, as an example for how controlled it is much of our angel skin coral was fished before 1980. Mm -hmm. It was off the coast of Japan and Taiwan. It was sealed in its branch form okay. and shown, um, shown to Mr. Liverino and shipped to Italy where it went through customs, wildlife and fisheries. It was stamped and sealed and dated in the box. And when Christina Asael went to the Liverino Museum in Torre del Greco, um, they started a discussion about this angel skin. He actually did show a few pieces in the museum. And he told her about the stash of angel skin that hadn't been carved yet. And she bought most of it. She talked him out of it. She's tall, beautiful, and charming, as you know. Um, so they cut beads for us and mm -hmm. carvings. And out of this stash, I'm going to start with something very special. Angel skin is an albino version of, I think, more than one species of coral. But mostly it's pleuro- Corallium Eladius. Don't quote me on that. I'm pronouncing it as best as I can. The paler the color, the more blush colors, the right. more rare and valuable. Personally, I like a salmon color, which is 
less rare and valuable, but I we need to we need to know the the truth. This is a blush. Yes. Color. Wonderful. Perhaps better on a redhead or blonde. And this is, I mean, this is this is crazy. This is 11.8 to 19.1 millimeters. Fantastic. And again, this also must be very rare to source the same color and the same luster and everything. Perhaps even more rare in a fine angel skin than the Sardinian. Wow. Yes. And then we have a slightly slightly deeper color. I don't know if you can see the difference. Here's the first one, and here's the slightly deeper color. And then we go deeper. I'll take these that I showed you before. These have even more salmon. You can easily see that. And there are shades in between. And... Uh, We have a nice long one that's between the first two that I showed you. Mm -hmm. Up to, oh gosh, Cute. this is over 30 millimeters. Over 30 millimeters, Peggy. Yes, but it's very graduated. You can see how small it goes down. Yes. Because we would never have been able to do a slight graduation starting with that size. Thank you. And we do everything from, when people love this, they love this. From a stud earring, you can oh, see. My. Yes, so cute. So Is you that... can have the color, and it, it actually really is neutral, um, to on the ear earrings with diamonds, Yes. And with colored stones, and talk about large drops. These drops are 33.4 long and over 20 wide. Wonderful. You can see they make my large drops look small. <laughs> Yes. Classic earring. And the most special angel skin earrings we have are two incredible pair. We decided to put in the same earring. Right. Okay. They're trimmed in, you know, fancy pink diamonds, and the stone in the center is actually a very pale pink tourmaline. So it's just a completely blush. Yes look. Peggy, what is the inspiration in creating these, you know, this unique and exclusive jewelry that you've shown us? Well, it's about showing off the materials. Right. Because, you know, at Asael, we're about materials, you know, yes. fine, as you know, very mm -hmm. fine pearls and very fine and rare coral. I mean, our tagline is magnificent pearls, exquisite coral. So first it's about showing off the materials. Then it's about color. I mean, this is a, a woman run business. Christina Asael owns the business um, and wanted to continue as her husband started with very fine things. But the woman edition, it's not like, some men are all different, women are all different, yes. But in general, men were um, dealers mm -hmm. and viewed things from the, out, you know, from the outside. And we, I do the product development and most of the designing. We view things as accessories. I mean, an accessory can be $10 million, it can be $2. But as I say to my friends who argue with me, it's not a potato, it's not a pizza, it's not a house, 
what else? It's an accessory. It's just sometimes a collectible, rare, precious one, but nonetheless. So we view it as something to wear. And we like to show off the colors. So, so yes. materials, colors, and form. Also, we don't like to do what everyone else is doing. Some of our things are more classic and can be found elsewhere, such as a very large angel skin ring, very large. And you see you have a wreath of marquee diamonds down the side. This is more classic, but, you know, something like this would be less classic. I mean, it might look vintage to you but it's less classic this is a brooch yes. with cabochon rubies and angel skin coral beautiful baby it's quite large and, and yes sorry uh, i was just going to say very rightly said it does have a vintage look to it it most certainly does and um that was intentional by the way and 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 ruby and angel skin is not a color combination you see every day, you know. Um, our designer Sean Gilson, who makes the bubble collection, is asking how rare is something as large as thirty millimeters. Well, the branch that it comes from would have to be probably seventy millimeters because you can take from less than half. And right. that's very rare. And when cutting it, it would you would have to see that the material was, as we said, the same throughout. So it's not just the size, the fact that the that the material and the color is the same throughout is is remarkable. Um, what else do I want to show you? Angel, Sardinian angel skin, the shaka. Why don't we go to the most precious, rare kind of coral? It's comes from, it's off the shores of Japan is where it usually comes from. It's called Aka, A-K-A, -A, and it's red. It's also known as oxblood coral. Fine aqua coral is known as oxblood. And we, we have a very fine oxblood strand. I, I don't know if there's another for sale in the United States or wherever. I know that, that they are in collections, but this aqua coral rarely leaves Japan because there are collectors waiting for it. Our strand is being viewed by the customer of a very good client at the moment. Mm -hmm. And so I don't have it here next time, but I have a wonderful piece of Aka Coral to show you. Wow. I don't know if you can see, there's light on if you can see how red it is. Yes. Let's let's put it next to wow. some other kind of coral. It truly, it truly can be the color of of blood. I mean, with no with no orange. With no orange, just red. With no orange, just deep blood red, and and I see that the light is not doing this 100% justice, but you saw it next to some other coral. This is, this is truly. Oh. oh, yes, absolutely. We can see the comparison now. Yes. Truly red. Thank you, Peggy, for that. Yes. The necklace that I would have shown you is just under $2 million. The beads are not as large as most of the necklaces that I showed you. But just the fact of... Um, having an entire necklace of all the same finest red color is really something to be proud of. In a way, Christina Asael doesn't want to sell it 
but <laughs> we do we do want she she does have one personally i will tell you one she will never sell and she didn't think she would ever have the chance to have another one but she did and Lovely. and we're offering it this is maybe um it's not the first time it's anyone seen it, but it's the first time that it's been with one of our retail partners to be shown to their best client. Fantastic. So all the best for that. I really hope that, yes, it will be a very successful sale for Sarah. It's meant, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. If Absolutely. not, then it's meant to be for someone else Absolutely. and it will come home. <laughs> it will come home, yes. Absolutely. And I may have worn it for our live Instagram had it been home, but anyway. <laughs> right. So you, you've shown us the best of Precious Coral from Masail, which is your favorite Precious Coral. Well, to be honest with you, I, I, tend, I tend to gravitate towards the finest of things, but... In this case, because of my coloring, yes. I think my favorite coral would be a deeper salmon angel skin, such as this color. Beautiful, yes. And I and I love, I love the Sardinian, red yes. orange red coral as well. And and Christina Asael wears so beautifully because she is blonde with a more fair complexion. Um, she wears this color so beautifully. And so it's different. It's like pearls. Mm -hmm. What, it's not just what colors you like, that's part of it, but it's your complexion. Mm -hmm. You know, we tend to gravitate towards colors that look good on us, right? I'm I'm looking at your lipstick, <laughs> your beautiful lipstick, and I'm thinking that a pinker salmon color would be very appealing to you, Renew. Am I right? Right, absolutely. So hopefully next time when I have a visit to New York or meet you, I will surely try on your beautiful coral jewels. And I'll make sure that I carry the same shade of lipstick with me. Okay. <laughs> You're younger, so you might remember, but I'm looking at your flowers behind you as well and your, and your other live Instagrams. You are a, a particular shade, certain shades of pink person, correct? Yes, absolutely pink, yes, yes. <laughs> Good. I want to, and when you come, you'll, you'll see even more. Asael is, to the best of our knowledge, and I've researched this, the first and only true coral dealer mm -hmm. in America. Fantastic. There are companies who have had strands and pieces of coral and certainly brands that use coral in their designs. Mm -hmm. But when I say a dealer, I mean a deep inventory oh. where a store or a dealer or something else can call us and say, I need X type of coral, an X type of shade, an X type of size in a strand X length, and I will have multiple strands to show them. We have an inventory of coral. I can't say it's as large as our pearl inventory because Salvador started that 75 years ago, but it is a deep, inventory and we're very proud of it amazing so there's so much for me to go into your pearl inventory and also into your coral so i think uh, my entire trip will be dedicated to a styles inventory hopefully if i come to usa soon you have to come for the day and between the pearl, the pearl part and the coral part we'll go have lunch so Absolutely. you can it sounds like a plan so you can digest it all <laughs> how sweet all right, so now let's talk about um, investing in precious coral. Do you think they yes. make a I do because this is controlled mm -hmm. and we, we live ha happily, mm -hmm. uh, maybe just in time, in a world that realizes how important it is 
that nothing on our planet become depleted or diminished. And I, I'm, we're very happy that, um, that, that the world cares about, uh, about this material, well, had to care about this material. The coral reefs brought attention to the whole thing. And that's why precious coral, one reason it's so documented, but Sibjo, is another reason. And I recommend to everyone, we can post it in a story afterwards, if they have a look, if they're interested, at the Sibjo Blue Book okay. on coral. It mm -hmm. explains much more than we can talk about now. But, but yes, because this needs to stay plentiful mm -hmm. where it grows and forms, this material, the, these fine materials are rare. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think at the top end, it is a good investment. And certainly this Aka For sure. is at the top. This is, this would be, uh, if we were talking about diamonds, since you're the diamond talk, the uh, the finest aqua would not, Aka would not just be the fancy vivid pink, it would be the red diamond. Wow. Of coral, of coral. Yes. The finest specimens. Wow, so so rare and so unique, is it? It is. So collectible, as I said, it rarely gets out of, out of Japan. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, as I say to people with pearls, mm -hmm. you know, you're buying something because you love it. Mm -hmm. And you want to wear it. Mm -hmm. But as a, an accompanying thought, buy the best that your budget can afford. Mm -hmm. yes. e you know, even if it's a little smaller, not dramatically smaller, you want it to be a part of your personality. Yes. But really study it a bit and look at as much as you can. Right. And you'll never, you'll never be sorry. When, you know, when you buy fine things, 20 years, 30, even two generations down the road, sometimes five years, you realize that it's maybe one of the best buys your money has had because you're loving it for so long. Yes. My mother said that to me about a coat. She always said, have a fabulous coat, well-made coat. Um, but I think it's more true of, of jewels. Yes, yeah, so quality is, is always very important. And like you mentioned, you know, go with what you like, what your personality resonates, because it's about making you feel good. So, you know, it has to give you the feel good factor when you wear it, whether it's small, big, doesn't matter. But you need to be content when you make that investment. Yes, absolutely. That holds true with everything. And I think you're teaching that to your viewers every time you do a live Instagram. I try my best, Peggy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> do we have any questions? Oh. Red diamonds are available treated. I'm sure there's dyed ox blood coral, but the real McCoy is Wowser. Yes. So let me say that there is treated coral and there is dyed coral. So our important pieces have gemological certificates. Okay. Um, we, we also guarantee that our coral is not treated and not dyed. Mm -hmm. as we do guarantee that our pearls are not dyed. They are cultured, yes, but they are not dyed mm -hmm. or, or changed in any way other than cleaned and polished out of an, out of an oyster or a conch or, right. or a mellow, mellow snail. But it's, yes, there are treated corals. Um, so do be careful. Buy from somebody very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And if it's... If it's something large enough to have been worth treating or dying, then maybe you should ask for a letter of authenticity from a reputable company or, you know, a, a laboratory certificate. It's from Asael. 
I was just going to say that that if anybody wants to invest in Koro, just one point of contact. That's a sign. <laughs> thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Do we work with rough coral? I mean branches of coral. Um, Yes, I, I meant to have some branches here. Uh, we, I can tell you that um, one of our designers, Sean Gilson, um, does some things with branch coral, and he will be doing some things for Asael with branch coral. Uh, but I have branches here that have not been cut yet. Next time I'll show them to you. Or maybe our somebody in my office went to get one. I don't know. Greetings from Bogota. Hi. Of all the coral you have shown us, which one is the rarest? Oh, the Akka. Uh, yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. And I missed a question there too. All right, let me just check uh, what question. How fragile is coral? Ah, yes, very important. So while in a sense it's hard, it is somewhat fragile. It can be, it can be brittle. It, it can be, you can crack it. Mm -hmm. It needs a good whack to be cracked. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you know, if you are a jewelry shop or an owner of a piece of coral, you don't want to throw it next to, um, something very hard or puts drop something very hard onto it also it's and like pearls you want to keep chemicals away from it right. so put the perfume on whatever not in the same place that you're wearing the coral um and wait you know several minutes before you put it on just clean it with a dry or damp soft cloth don't keep it in extreme heat or light day after day after day. Nobody owning a piece of coral would do that. Mm -hmm. You know, I certainly would wear this out in the sunlight every yeah. day. And we see coral in auction houses being owned by, you know, for hundreds of years, generations, it's fine. But if you were a store having coral and your lights had intense heat, you wouldn't want to keep them. Absolutely. A hundred percent of the time in those in those lights. So, uh, yeah, it's it's hard. It's not as fragile as some other gem material, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's not a diamond or corundum, you know, ruby or sapphire, which can also be scratched. We know. The one has to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's not it's not so difficult to keep I'm coral sorry. well. And I don't know, I don't know if it has a hardness on the Mohs scale. We can also let everybody um, read something by one of the great gemologists. Um, his it, Instagram is Portugal Gemas. P -O, yes. you know, it's Portugal Gemas. And his name is Rui de Gallopem Car Carvalho. I'm, I'm don't be mad at me, Rui, but he's a specialist in coral. Right. And so, so we'll I, give inf information afterwards? Yes. I will surely share both the links as you mentioned. So yes, so I, you, Peggy, you've shared wonderful information and we are almost close to one hour's time. And uh, with that, um, in case if anybody has any questions, feel free to either contact us or you can even message uh, Asile INC and they will be more than happy to assist you with all your questions and um, anytime, anytime even, yes. even if it's just FYI we just like to share oh, sweet. share the love yeah that's so kind of you this, yes it's on the heart this is three and four yes mm -hmm. it's a little a little less fragile than things like dioptase or I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly but Yes. <laughs> so with that, Peggy, um, thank you so much. It's been wonderful and a very insightful conversation. And, and the corals look lovely on you. And I definitely can't wait to come visit you and see gorgeous corals and try them on. 
I am waiting for you, Renew, and we're going to take pictures or we're going to go live for your audience and get votes on your color of coral. For sure, Peggy. Yes. And here's my gratitude to the entire team of Zaria and Dwal, especially who's helped us put this wonderful conversation. Always been so cooperative and so supportive and always been so loving. Why not? You're so lovely and informative. It's, it's just such a pleasure. Pleasure's and all I, I wish all your viewers well. Stay safe, guys. And read more about Coral. For oh, sure. All right. Thank you, Peggy. You have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you. You too, dear Renew. Bye. Goodbye.